imagine we are trying to make our company look particularly profitable just by having pictures that make it kind of look like it. So if I was to put this on a format data series, plot it on a secondary axis. Now if I then click on this axis and we'll go to the maximum, if we start saying the maximum, let's put that up to four, no, it looks a bit ridiculous. Let's go six or something like that. So we're now showing sales and profit. We've got the two axes showing. Our profit bars are sort of out of scale, if you like, to our sales bars, but we know there's a problem because we can see we've got a dual axis chart. But if I was to click on this axis and now uh, say, let's, um, Let's say we don't want the axis showing and um, we're going to get rid of all of the formatting of it as well. So I was on there, so no fill and no line. Makes it look like you've got a very profitable company on your hands. Now I'd say that's deliberate deception, but certainly this is one thing you can use with uh, dual axis charts. It would look far better if we change that to a line, for example. So we put that as a line. Uh, and again, we want the line, because we changed the chart type, we have to then put it on the dual axis again and go around the houses, unfortunately. But again, we can use, if we change this axis position, for example, axis options again, so where do we have it at six, wasn't it? Something like that. That can look deceiving as well, where you've got sales and profit figures going on. You could put data labels on there and remove all the axes, but not on, the, on, the, on this line here. Or you could move that one back to, you could move that one back to automatic and get a much more sensible chart out of it. Again, have no label on that one potentially whack that up to four on this one i think we go none as well and then on these we can add uh, data labels and just uh, put some custom number format on it and we could leave our chart something like that potentially even moving some of these grid lights out as well and that's not a bad looking chart um, we're being disingenuous about the profit numbers again, but it shows the correlation. So anyway, I just want to take you through a couple of different chart types. So you can, um, with your dual combo things, like an area chart going on underneath, that can be quite useful as you can see. Lines, stack bars, sorry, stack columns, like that, as we've seen before lines with dots I think are quite useful there's all manner of different uh, templates you can go through but I think something like this lines with markers probably quite good so there you have it